Good morning, friends and fellow traders, and happy Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Preparation video for September 27th, 2019. My goodness, as we head into this weekend with so much uncertainty swirling about, it's really hard to know what to expect. We may get some price action movement today, but how do you hold too much risk going into this weekend when literally anything seems possible? Let's take a look at the um, the conditions here in the market and see what we have going. Yesterday I mentioned that possibility that we could be slipping into more of a consolidation right through here. And so far that still seems to be the case. We have this major resistance up here that we still must deal with. And I'm not sure we're gonna find the inspiration amongst all of this craziness in the market right now, political uncertainty, if we're going to find that inspiration to really give us enough energy to break through that upside move. But on the positive side, we have held up very, very well. We've tried to go down, tried to go down, tried to go down. In fact, we have a little tiny upward trend right there. And this could be forming some kind of a little pennant pattern in the chart here on the diamonds. And this morning we're looking at a gap up open so far this morning. So here again, we want to be really careful on this gap up open. I mean, uh, fool me once, fool me twice. Um, Got to be a little bit careful with that. So watch that carefully as we progress through the morning. Um, it's just so much swirling uncertainty. It's it's like the political rhetoric has reached a... a um, a roar so intense that it's very, very difficult to um, to know what to do here um, as this continues to, to spin out. We'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY also did the same thing yesterday, pushing down earlier on during that whistleblower meeting, giving us a little bit of concern. As a matter of fact, we had at one point a bearish engulfing candle. At the end of the day, though, those bulls kind of had a, uh, they fought back, but I got to be honest, the price action was so crummy. It was really hard and so choppy. It's really hard to know what to do here. And this morning, we're looking at a uh, modest gap up here this morning, trying to reattack these high eyes um, in the spy. We'll have to wait and see if the economic data this morning provides any inspiration to help them move on higher here heading into the uncertain weekend or not. We will wait and see. Um, holding that 50-day moving average is bullish and I still think there is that very substantial possibility that what we could be doing is slipping into a bit of a consolidating choppy uh, pattern right here. Remember, we still have considerable price resistance above that we um, have to try and overcome. And I just don't know that we're going to see that uh, enough inspiration for that today. But hey, you know, crazier things have happened, right? So we'll have to watch that. We also learned um, after the bell yesterday that trade talks will resume uh, between U.S. and China on October 10th. I believe that's only five days ahead of the uh, scheduled tariff increase. So let's hope they talk fast or that the president is actually correct in his statement the other day that they're closer to a deal than everyone expects. We'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, now it really gave us a little bit of uh, fear yesterday, uh, dropping down once again below that 50-day moving average, but they're at the end of the day, those bulls found a way to push that back up and try to hold uh, or close right there above its 50-day moving average. And this morning, we're getting just a little tiny bump higher, trying to show put on that good faith sign this morning. It seems like that's relentless here lately. Um, institutions are doing nothing but every day trying to pump it higher. I 
don't quite get that, but that's what seems to be going on. It's just like we're going to pump it up every morning, see what happens, see if we can get enough people to jump in to make it move. Um, but um, be v really, really careful because remember, we have significant levels of resistance here in the chart that we need to overcome. Plus, you know, these lower highs in here. So we. we likely are going to need some kind of inspiration for that but it is bullish that we're holding that 50-day moving average so not all is uh, not everything is gloom and doom here at all if we can hold in here maybe consolidate we just build a case for that uh, support to maybe launch from to push higher and then IWM IWM um, ugly pattern this is a pattern that I call an Oreo cookie um, we have a black candle, white candle, black candle. Those tend to lead to a lower uh, print um, overall. So we'll wait and see if that occurs. But we did hold right here on the 50-day moving average hanging in there. Um, still have a substantial downtrend in the chart. We have a huge overall downtrend that we still have to try and break through. And we have price resistance levels in the chart that may be a little bit difficult for us to slam right through coming back up considering all the uncertainty in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX back and forth, back and forth, seesawing yesterday on the news. During the whistleblower event, we started to spike up during the afternoon where the bulls tried to push us back up. Um, it relaxed a little bit. So we're still holding on to this uh, price support area in here. Now, if fear were to come into the market and bounce us up off of there, we're going to want to watch this little downtrending area. If we break through that, that's where we could really see some selling come into play. However, However, with the morning gap up, we can probably expect that this is going to relax a little bit more this morning. And we have this downtrend still in effect here. So if we um, do get that bullish price move today and drift below, we still want to watch this level in here for potential support in the VIX. Let's take a look at a T2122. Poor T2122, it's about as confused as anything else. Chopping around here in this mid zone of the market where we shoot back up and come back down and it's just all over the place but t2122 doesn't really tell us much directionally here where we're going to go and as a matter of fact it's more uh showing us that well we're kind of somewhere here in the middle if the bulls can find inspiration we do have room to the upside and if the bears find in for in inspiration we have plenty of room to the downside as well so kind of keep that in mind it really is going to depend on how um, news events and things like that affect the psychology of the market where we're going to go here and then Considering the risk of the weekend with this uncertainty and all this spin going on um, over the weekend, it makes you wonder how many people are actually going to hold positions into the weekend. If we couldn't see, even if we do get a rally, um, um, we may see some selling um, into the weekend just to avoid the risk of that uncertainty. Be interesting to see for sure. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And this economic calendar's got something to say about how this market is going to move around this morning. First off, we have durable goods orders right out here at 8.30 this morning. That is a big, important report. And if we are to begin to see any signs of global slowdown, maybe it starts to show up in here. So far, I have to say, global slowdown really hasn't been showing up in the U.S. economic numbers to this point. So watch that durable good, goods orders at 8.30 this morning. And right behind it, personal incomes and outlays could be uh, pretty important. We have more Fed speakers out here. Got to go out there and, and uh, talk about Rates, um, two more today um, as this parade of uh, Fed speak uh, goes on. But probably more importantly is that consumer sentiment report coming out at 10 o'clock a.m. As long as consumer sentiment holds up, we could be still looking good here overall. But these two up here are the ones to worry about first thing this morning. So keep an eye on that.
As I'm recording this, the futures continue to hold up pretty well. Dow's just under 70 points, um, up, uh, expecting in a gap up, and we'll have to see how that holds up as we progress into the morning. There's really nothing on the earnings calendar to really to to inspire much of um, any kind of movement. About 14 companies. Um, um, expected to report earnings none of them would be particularly notable so um we're going to be kind of left to that economic uh report and um the the new spin to try and find some kind of inspiration in this market let's take a look at um well before we do hey guys i just want to thank you so much for um watching participating um and um, all of the great comments that you guys leave on these videos. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button there on YouTube. Um, also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time a video um, is posted. I do my very best to try to put out good quality content that without hype, without prediction, so that folks have a better opportunity to settle themselves in how they want to approach the market for the day to think about the details um, surrounding that market open and how they might want to approach for that mo morning i can tell you um, in my 14 years um, uh, i've been blessed to be able to do this full time for a living the last 14. Um, this preparation is very very important to me to um, help me focus in on the right things um, as we move toward the open and avoid those news events and all of the drama that gets created uh, during an opening of the market. If you find those helpful, please make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Um, any comment counts and I truly appreciate everyone who does do that. So let's take a look at a few stocks that are still setting up, a few stocks that are looking pretty good. It's it's really, really difficult, I understand, in this market to be too confident in, in, in a direction of much of anything. And it's really difficult to find something that uh, it produces at least two days in one direction. Um, but let's take a look and see what we can come up with here this morning. Uh, take a look at BMY. Now, BMY has been holding up really, really well. BMY moving up in this nice little trend, broke through some resistance, and overall broke its longer-term downtrend here to the upside. So holding up here above this little price support area, you can see we moved up, pulled back, and yesterday left behind... Um, almost a hammer pattern in the chart. If we get any kind of bullish move this morning pushing that through, you could really see how this could easily turn into more of a morning star pattern, which is a very bullish pattern and could be an opportunity for um, an upside move. So watch that closely. Obviously, we have resistance in this chart uh, to also contend with, but there's uh, maybe some opportunity here in BMY. Take a look at Apple. Apple continues to set up here for a potential upside trade. Um, Apple breaking through this price resistance up in here, doing a nice little sideways dance here, testing the waters of the support. Seems to be holding up pretty well. What we need is a little bit of bullishness in the market to maybe pop us on through here and maybe extend this move on up. It would appear that sales of the Apple devices, the new Apple devices, are going quite well. So, um, you know, they're just maybe that anticipation of a little bit of rally um, going on there in Apple. Take a look at the stock BX. Now, BX has been one I've brought up several times before, and it's because it's just been in this beautiful upside trend. And as you can see, creating these nice little platforms. This is what I call a stepper pattern where we just move up, there's a nice little step, and then we step on up, and then we consolidate over, and possibility of that step on up. So as this little stepper pattern continues to develop, we wanna watch right in here to see if those buyers are going to push this up in here, giving us that opportunity to take that next move higher in BX. Really nice looking chart, continuing to hold up really well, considering the junkiness of uh, the overall 
market. Goodyear Tire. I brought this up yesterday. Goodyear Tire um, looking pretty good. Full disclosure, I actually hold a position in Goodyear Tire. And uh, breaking this downtrend um, overall, holding this price support in here, and then pushing higher. This is also what we call a roundabout and breakout pattern, breaking above that 50-day moving average. Obviously, we have resistance targets up here we have to kind of be concerned about. Overall, I'm looking at that higher move, possibly up here toward that 200 day moving average eventually obviously i don't expect it to move straight up there but i'm watching that closely now having said that even though i'm in this and holding this trade i gotta tell you with the uncertainty um, of the overall market um, i have a I have a positive position in here, seven, eight percent, something like that. If I get any kind of bullishness in this today to potentially move this on higher, I may take that profit for the weekend um, and just back away um, on the risk on some of these trades because of that uncertainty out there. So keep that in mind. Nice little chart, but we want to pick and choose our battles pretty darn carefully in this market. Take a look at Verizon, VZ. Verizon holding up really, really well. It's been moving up in this trend, and notice that we've got this um, interesting top up here that we've broken through. So we've kind of worked, at least trying to break through, I should say, trying to break through this area. And, and yes, you know, we've tried to break through and we're trying to hold up here. That is a big, important top up there. We want to watch that closely. If Verizon can actually pop on through or consolidate and hold that area, there may be some upside potential here. At the same time, if we get another failure up here, that could certainly set up some kind of a short move. And it may be a place where um, traders that um, enjoy um, credit spread trades and things like that may find a good credit spread trade up here if we do get that failure pattern so keep an eye out there's an opportunity here um, possibly setting up in Verizon um, with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a great day I want to wish you great profits uh, this video is a little bit shorter I'm running a little bit behind today but um, I want to wish you all a great weekend I hope um, I hope this uh, insipid yucky price action begins to settle down soon but there's certainly um, so many things out there for the market to have to deal with this could linger on for a while as a matter of fact it could linger on all the way into the next round of earnings before we really get some inspiration to move one way or another um, unfortunately um, that can you know that can that's going to be a few weeks away um also we could be waiting until we get something out of the china deal and, and we now know that is the 10th of october before they even sit down and talk so all this uncertainty swirling about could keep us in locked in this consolidating junkie price action for a while so don't be too surprised if if we just continue to see uh, this consolidation be very frustrating and and whippy um, in its nature so everyone take care have an awesome week weekend we'll talk to you all bright and early morning uh monday morning i wish you all the very best take care now